very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as I predicted my friends last week I told you that the next week the signals will be really doing very well because the market seems to be uh, calm and giving us promising setups and that is exactly what happened this week so far Angela is doing amazing with the signals and finally we are back on our feet after two weeks of ups and downs actually last week was not that bad it was good for the last two days and this week also we are doing really good and uh, we are getting again the good feedbacks the happy feedbacks from the clients this guy here he's showing that uh, he have made a lot of profit using the signals and he's saying the signals are amazing uh, this guy here also he said that he have made over hundred dollars in the last two days using the signals and it's, uh, she asked him, Angela, is this real account? He said, yes, of course, it's real account. So really happy for him, really happy for everyone in the premium group. And I wish it will be always like that. This is how extreme trader signals should be. Um, the market seems calm right now. There is no unexpected news or events happening in the world. So it's following the support and resistance rules. Uh, really good job, Angela. Thank you so much. And thanks for the clients. Um, if you wish to join the premium group, my friends, you can contact Angela. You can find her contact details in Telegram in the description below this video. Hope to see you there, my friends. And again, thank you, Angela. And thanks for the clients. And wish you guys the best. So let's go now to the main subject of this video, which is the live trading. And now we will be using the Fibonacci retracement. Actually, using Fibonacci retracement, uh, first of all, it helps the beginners to determine the support and the resistance levels. Second of all, it will be very helpful to let you know where you should exit your trade with the profit. The easiest way to decide where you should exit your trade with the profit is actually the Fibonacci. Uh, using Fibonacci can actually uh, save a lot of your time analyzing the chart to find the best levels of support and resistance. Now, in the past, I have made one video in my channel. If you go to my channel videos, you can find the video right here. Fibonacci in day trading. In this video, I have ex explained in brief my strategy in using Fibonacci and sadly, I have received a lot of uh, criticism for it. Uh, so many people disagree with me and frankly, I don't really care <laughs> because that is how I'm doing my trading and that is what is working for me. And if you don't believe me, if you disagree, you can just write yourself and you just, uh, yeah, just write yourself and you will believe it. Anyway, let's now go and uh, try some live trading using Fibonacci. And again, if you really wish to know what is the strategy I'm using, just refer to this video, Fibonacci in day trading. It will help you a lot to understand what I'm doing uh, because I'm not going to explain the strategy again in this video. So I'm just trying to find some good setup that I can enter. And I will, I found here the pound CHF. I will draw my Fibonacci retracement. And definitely, yes. Yes, yes, that is really good. And I will set my take profit to be at the nearest or the next retracement of level 50. Oh my God, that will be really good. $65. Ah, okay, I forgot the lot size is uh, high actually. No problem, no worries. I just need to reduce this. Because I'm thinking, how come? All right, so yeah, that should be good trade. Allow me to explain the reason. So I have drawn my Fibonacci retracement from this low here to this high here. Now what we are seeing that in the past we had the very same level of 38.2. We can see that we had here a resistance level and here as well and right here. So after the breakout, the very same level has become a new support, one, support two, and support three now after the bearish breakout this bearish breakout is very strong so after that we can see that the very same resistance the strong uh, resistance level is now kept its position as a resistance again now remember this is 30 minute time frame so we can see on 12th november the same level was a resistance today is what 20 november so meaning after 10 days the very same level after the bearish breakout is gonna keep its position as a resistance. Now, the powerful thing about Fibonacci, as I mentioned, it can help it can help you to understand or to determine where you you should exit your trade with the profit. And if you have followed my uh, video, you can understand that when we enter a place, oh sorry, when we enter a trade 
for example we are selling on level 38.2 we can exit our trade at the next retracement which is on level 50 actually maybe I, I will take some time to explain this uh, Fibonacci tool is actually like a magical tool it can help you to understand where you should exit your trade with the profit let me tell you something for example let's say that you have placed your sell order on this level here as per the my strategy rules uh, of using Fibonacci trading we can exit our trade at the next retracement which is right here if you follow it actually you can see that the market has indeed reversed exactly on all these levels uh, for example this support level here if you place your buy order you can exit your trade at the next retracement interesting uh, this one here actually the market didn't go up and I will explain the reason why later uh, we can see that if we place sell here at retracement 23.6 we can see that the market kept going down all the way until the next retracement and we can see that the reversal happened exactly on this level so we have to be very careful when we are, when we are using this method now the reason let me to, let me go to the reason why the market didn't go up all the way to this to this retracement here actually Fibonacci tool and that is the part <laughs> which a lot of people disagree with me uh, Fibonacci can be actually drawn any way you want and it is still gonna be uh, working let me tell you something for example I started drawing my Fibonacci retracement from this low here from this low here up to all the way to this high here let me change it right now and I swear guys I didn't even try this before I'm just showing it to you right now let me draw my Fibonacci level right on this low here so let me just move it all the way up here now it's a different story what do you see guys let's see now see we can see placing buy order here and exiting our trade at the next retracement indeed it worked uh, this one here for example placing our trade sell order on this level we can see that the market eventually even after going to the next retracement eventually it went down to the next retracement this one here as well placing sell here and after a while the market indeed went down to the next retracement uh, here also placing buy order and we can see that the market kept going all the way up to the following retracement so the whole point is you need to be logical when you're drawing Fibonacci um, since we are using the smaller time frame we can draw it also on a smaller time uh, like scale I mean I don't need to draw my Fibonacci level way all the way down to the very bottom of this trend I can just make it right here or actually even right here it's gonna work all the time no matter how you draw your Fibonacci level it is still gonna be uh, working let me try to find something I will just go back to the in the time randomly just like that so you don't think that I'm planning anything at all all right here randomly so let me draw, draw my Fibonacci retracement uh, for example uh, from this low here to this high here now what do we see what happened after that we can see that if we place our sell order here and exiting at the next stress retracement it has reached the target keep it going placing the buy order here and after a while the market almost reached the next retracement placing sell here and the market after a while has reached the next retracement uh, placing buy, or, uh, buy order here and the market was very close to reach the 61.8 and I think if we go uh, more to the right we can see it actually reached it's just kept going down and we can see it is just keep going and going let me show you something here now as you can see I have drawn my Fibonacci retracement randomly uh, on 10th June from this low here to this high here all right let's keep going to the right to the to the future see what happened look at that even on 25th June we can see that this level of retracement 61.8 uh, sorry this is 161 I think 161.8 and the market is still respecting this level um, wait a minute let's just keep uh, okay it's not going more than that look at that and the market is still uh, respecting this level it is a very strong level because it is 161.8 and also 61.8 is very strong the idea I'm, I'm trying to explain to you 
is no matter how you draw Fibonacci, it is still gonna be correct. Let me now change the drawing or the start point from this low here to this low here. It is still gonna show you the strong levels of support and resistance. Look at that. 161.8, we can still see this level acting very strongly as a support and it was also a resistance. And we can see here also the breakout from the support. And we can see that the market reached this level here. So if I place buy order here, we can see that the market went all the way up to this level, uh, retracement 100, and then it went down also here. We can see here also if we place buy order, the market kept going all the way up to the level, one, uh, sorry, 61.8. So I sh actually, I don't want to explain the whole uh, uh, strategy again, but the point is no matter how you draw your Fibonacci retracement, it's going to be accurate all the time. But when you enter a trade, you have to be logic as well. So when I entered this trade here for the pound CHF, I didn't enter it randomly just because Fibonacci showed me the retracement. You also have to be logic. You also have to understand that you have here a resistance number one. And I have entered my trade on resistance number two. If it was like, for example, resistance number three or four, I would never have entered this trade. So always be logical when you are entering your trade. Don't enter randomly just because Fibonacci said that this, le this level is strong. Uh, let's see now, the pound USD. Pound USD, let me draw my Fibonacci retracement. Now what we can see is the pound USD is right now ranging on Fibonacci 61.8. Now what should I do? Nothing, absolutely nothing. First of all, the market is ranging on this level. Second of all, we can see here, if we are looking carefully, we can see that we had here a resistance one, resistance two, and right now the market is on resistance number three, making this setup completely invalid for me, and I cannot enter any trade right here. Uh, nothing here as well, nothing here. Again, what I'm trying to find is something valid for my setup, for something valid for my strategy, and I will use Fibonacci to help me if this is a good level or not. For example, right now I'm on the AUD USD and I will draw my Fibonacci retracement from this low here to this high right here. Now what do we see? Now actually we can see that the candle is above the level 23.8, uh, sorry 23.6 and checking the past, this was a support level and it was also a strong, very strong resistance level and we can see here that we have a resistance number one and right now the market is making a resistance number two making this setup really really uh, interesting however i really don't think the market is going to reverse at the moment again because the price action of this candle is showing like the market actually should continue to go more up that's why i'm telling you don't just enter using fibonacci retracement blindly it just help you to understand where is the strongest levels of support and resistance and that's it you don't have to enter blindly your trades, always analyze by yourself and then you can use Fibonacci just to confirm your entry that you are on Fibo 61.8 or 23.6. So, or sorry, or even 50 as well. Uh, I'm trying to find something good at all. Right now, nothing. Let me try here because we are on a very strong support level. Let me draw my Fibonacci retracement. Look at that. Now, this is very interesting because on um, usually what we can do here is we are seeing here that we have a support level and we can assume that this level is strong as a support. However, drawing Fibonacci retracement on the bigger time scale from this low here to this high here showing me that actually the strongest level is right here not right here so if i want to have better entry i can wait for the market to approach this support level right here to create a support number two and then i can place my trade of buy order placing the trade here might actually not be good because this is not a very strong level as a fibonacci 61.8 so fibonacci has actually saved uh, my time and saved me from entering a false setup. I know there is a lot of people who actually might be confused 
but still you have to watch that video I have mentioned earlier it will help you a lot to understand what I'm really doing right now let me see this one actually this is interesting the GPP GPY let me draw my Fibonacci I will start from this low here all the way to the top look at that how perfect it is look how perfect it, uh, this is we can see that the market is reversing on 61.8 this is like the golden level of Fibonacci retracement and I have also expl explained that in brief in that video so if I want to have the best entry I have to wait for the market to reach a little bit more up here and then I'll place my sell order uh, let me see how many pips is that 7 pips that's actually a lot for the pound pair so I'm just going to skip this one so to save your time I will now pause the video and I'll be back to you immediately once I find something good so this is the candle we spoke about earlier and you can see now it's, it's going a little bit more up however uh, something telling me that this should be actually good for a scalping session because we are right now approaching level 23.6 and actually this is going to be really good for scalping getting out with almost 7 pips of profit and I'm going to place the sell order right here now the reason I placed my trade uh, as you can see because I selected this low here and this high here to find my Fibonacci retracement uh, levels and therefore like that so what happened is I can see that this the very same level of the of this resistance was actually really strong level as a support um, always remember my friends when you see a support level consists of only one long week like that just a tail that means this level is very very strong as a support or a resistance <laughs> and seeing this here uh, confirming me that this level is very strong and also we can see it here and right here so and even right here so this level is very strong it's keeping its position as a resistance so even without Fibonacci even doing the analysis manually I can tell that this level is strong now Fibonacci will help me to know where I should exit my trade because usually usually without Fibonacci we can select this level as the next support Fibonacci uh, showing me that the next retracement is on 38.2 so this will be the safest level to exit your trade that's why using Fibonacci actually very helpful for the beginners it will help them to understand where they should exit their trade with the profit when they are doing the hit and run strategy therefore I'm going to select this level like that as my uh, take profit level we can see that we can end up with ten dollars of profit and that is actually not bad for a scalping session uh, let me now pause the video again and I'll be back to you once I find another valid setup we found it right here or hold on one second uh, I think I found something let me just be sure I will draw my Fibonacci from this low here to this level right here so let's see we can see now we had here a breakout candle and the market is approaching down to the 38.38.2 we can see that the level 38.2 was also a strong support with two attempts and we had right now here the bullish breakout so usually what people can do is placing the buy order right here immediately why because in the past it was also a resistance so they think this is the best level to place the buy order uh, it's really a wrong uh, move when you are placing your trade way earlier uh, or way uh, late because you want in Forex when you are scalping all what this matter is the entry level you don't want to enter f uh, you don't want to scalp the market for five or six pips and risk losing 16 or 20 pips just to earn seven pips so you cannot just for example you cannot place buy order here and hoping to exit the market with five pips of profit and then the, the thread will keep going against you for like 20 or 30 pips that's ridiculous it's all about finding the best level to place your trade and that's why I'm, I will wait for this candle to move down a little bit when it's moved this uh, touch this level 38.2 of Fibonacci and then I'm going to place my buy order let me see how many pips is that one pip only all right so it is one pip only um, let's just wait a little bit 
and I will place my trade on the perfect uh, level when it touch the 38.2 let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you very soon and we can see uh, AOD USD has just hit the take profit uh, with uh, good results I mean you can see how it happened here uh, the market just reversed right on this level from 23 and uh, touched this level on 38.2 and you can see that afterwards after, after that I really don't care what will gonna happen as long as I get out with this trade in profit it might keep going down it might reverse I'm not really sure what will gonna happen now I don't have time to analyze it however we really don't care as long as we have exit our trade with profit let's check the other one right now it uh, seems to be reversing and going down what happened to the Fibonacci it got erased uh, let me just uh, draw it again I think we draw it from this level like that yes exactly from this low here not sure why it uh, was deleted however uh, I need to spend more time to find the next setup so I'll be back to you my friends once I find the other trade let's do something <laughs> sorry let's do something interesting so right now we are on the 30 minute time frame right I will move to the 15 minute time frame and right now we are on the pound USD let me show you how powerful, how powerful the Fibonacci tool is I'm going to draw Fibonacci retracement from this high here to this low right here like that so we can see that right now we are on Fibonacci 50 and if I will wait for the trade to exit on the next retracement we can get out with almost three three pips of profit let's do it so we can see what happened here uh, I have placed my trade right here uh, right here and I want to exit my trade at the next retracement which is just right here on Fibonacci 61.8 uh, also doing the manual analysis we can see that we have here a bullish breakout candle from this resistance which also was a strong support level in the past before this bearish breakout candle so manual analysis plus Fibonacci retracement we can see what will gonna happen let's see and uh, I think I will not pause the video because this is just very quick uh, scalping only for three pips I just want to show you how powerful the Fibonacci retracement is even when you're applying it on the smaller time frame now the good thing even let's say let's say that of course it's impossible uh, for something to be 100% working all of the time let's say this trade kept going down or sorry this candle kept going down here I can expect for it to reverse on this level 38.2 and I'm going to open another trade because also doing manual manual, uh, manual analysis we can find that this very same level was also a strong support so very good trade and hopefully we will get out with a decent profit out of it as I said we can see that the candle is indeed going down and I'm just waiting to show you the moment of truth uh, actually I should draw it like that maybe like that yes this is actually the right way uh, it should be drawn to the absolute bottom from the absolute high to the absolute bottom of the current trend so we can see that the candle is just uh, going a little bit down you know what maybe I will open another trade uh, I just opened another trade because I'm really sure I'm really sure uh, this is a valid setup because of this support right here and we can see this uh, bullish breakout candle I mean maybe the candle the very same current candle it might actually reverse and go a little bit more up here and eventually maybe it will later go down so it, it is gonna end or close as a, as a red candle but however during this process it might actually make a small wick here to visit uh, this level 61.8 to just retest this level and then might actually fall down so I'm just after this reversal I'm just going after the reversal and then I will exit the trade with a profit let me set my take profit level here only like three pips and the next trade almost like two pips only barely make any profit out of it to be honest let's see I know this is very tiny small profit uh, the whole idea is I just want to show you the power of using Fibonacci 61.8 and how you can apply it in your day trades so let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you my friends to show you what will gonna happen with this trade just to show you as I predicted this candle is just gonna keep going down but eventually it's gonna reverse right on this level right on this level of Fibonacci 
uh, let me just uh, I'm thinking to place another buy order here just to make a good profit out of this trade. Okay, <laughs> we cannot. Let me try. Okay, no need then. <laughs> let's ignore that. Uh, let's see what will gonna happen. We have to wait for this market to reverse on this level 38.2. Actually, I told you before, this is actually a better level to expect the reversal because here we have also the support. To be honest with you, this is a good practice because um, this is what happened when actually you think that I'm showing you only the profit trades. Actually, no. Sometimes I actually make some losses uh, when I'm doing this uh, live trading session. And this is a good practice to show you how should you re how you should react when you see the candle is going against you. What should you do? When the candle is going against your trade and you are seeing yourself losing money, just relax. Don't uh, panic because you will lose money only when you click the X button right here or if you set a stop loss. That is only the way you are going to lose money because when the trade is going against you, you can still do more analysis. Don't rush. So when this trade got, uh, went against me, what I did is just do more analysis. Expect where the candle can reverse. So we have here a support level that can back me up because we have here also a support number one. We can see this reversal here. We can see the red candle followed by the blue candle, meaning we had a reversal. This reversal is considered as a support number one. And we can expect now the candle to reverse to create support number two. So always have a plan B when the trade goes going against you. Don't ever, ever, ever set a stop loss like that based on a price level because that is ridiculous and that is how you are going to actually lose your money. And I think I have said this millions of times on my channel. So let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two trades. Check it out. Check it out. You see it. It hit the tech profit. Very good, wonderful. But however, uh, the other one, the Ponzi chef, is not seeing a good days. Uh, we need to do something about this one. So let me show you how we can handle this one as well. So I'm just happy because the trade for the pound USD worked perfectly as I thought. I told you it's gonna reverse right on that previous support, right here. I told you don't get panic when you see that red going against you. We can see that what happened, the market reversed from this level of the support and went up all the way to the take profit, hit our take profit and we got out of this trade with a decent profit. Now let's go to the last one which is the CHF, GP, uh, uh, pound CHF. Let me now draw another Fibonacci retracement. So I will start from this high here to this low right here. Now what happened? Uh, we can see that the candle has reached Fibonacci 61.8 and now it has reversed. So we can still have a chance to place another trade if we are lucky enough. I will just wait for the trade. Actually, I was late to be honest with you. Uh, I could have placed sell order right here on 61.8 because we can see that here we had a resistance number one and we, can ha we could have placed another trade on resistance number two. I will just wait a little bit more time so we can see if I'm lucky enough, I can catch this trade. If it go up here again, I can place another sell order and we can actually make profit to recover the losses so far. Again, I'm telling you, yes, we are seeing that this trade is going uh, bad. It's going against us, but don't get panic. Don't set any stop loss. Just continue analyzing. So for example, let me just tell you, for example, um, if 61.8 or the next retracement was really far like this, then I would have actually closed it with the loss because it might take hell of time before it start reversing and recover. However, we can see that when we draw the Fibonacci from this high here to this low here, we are still fine. Look at it. The candle is just going down, still going down. And we are so far uh, still in the safe side. We can actually end this trade in a profit because this level of Fibonacci 61.8 is very strong. I'm telling you always that this is the golden level of the Fibonacci retracement. See the candles. It's just going down. No need to pause the video. It's just keep going more and more. Yes. Good. And actually, actually I could have closed it with a break even, but I'm just waiting to see it going in a profit because again, I'm telling the reversal from the 61.8 is quite strong. Yes. More down so I can close it with a break even or even some profit and like that end this trade because it just went against me. I don't want to stay in this trade longer. However, we can see it is just continue to go more down. I think 
But anyway, this is really good. I, sh I just hope I showed you how we can uh, exit the trade with a decent profit, how we can handle the trade when it's going against us, how we can use Fibonacci in our scalping session, all on that in this one great video. I really, guys, uh, hope you have learned a lot. And next video will be also focusing again on Fibonacci. In the end, I hope that was informative to you, and I would like to thank you for watching.